this program, I have an array set up of strings. It's got three words in it. Um, I've got a little function that prints it out. I've got a function that lets me add to it. But what if I want to get rid of one of the words? Um, so how would I do that? Well, just like when we added, the idea is I've got to make a new array because I can't really resize this, but I can connect this reference, this identifier here, to a new array. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do that. The beginning of this is going to look quite like the beginning um, of AdWords. I don't know why it's doing that to me. Uh, string remove word. This is going to take in as parameter my current array. And what I'm going to do is a couple things. I am going to um, make a new array that is one smaller than words was. I'm going to copy over, I'm going to, actually, I hear I'm going to ask the user which to remove. Okay. And I'm going to copy the words that don't match that input into a new array. And then I'm going to return it. All right. So let's do those tasks. So I'm going to make a new array. Let's call this less words. And that is going to be one smaller than the size of this guy. So let's ask for his length and subtract one off of it. Okay. I'm going to need a scanner. I'm going to need a string to hold the text. Uh, in fact, let's do this in one line. to set this equal to one. All right, so I've got the word they want to remove. What I want to do is I'm going to loop over my old loop, uh, array. And I am going to um, copy into my new array the current word. Now here's my problem. At the point where I find the matching word, um, the index in this guy might not be the same as the index in this guy. So I need an extra variable to keep track of that index. Uh, so let's call this index less. Okay. Index less. And I want to increment that guy. Now here's the thing. Um, I only want to do this if it doesn't match the word they want to get rid of, right? So I want to make an if statement. So if, let's see, if words sub i dot equals ignore case word to remove. And I only want to do this if that's not true. So let's stick a not on it. And I'm going to protect this stuff. And only do it if the if is true. All right. And so theoretically, it's only going to copy when the words don't match um, the word they're trying to get rid of. And then I'm going to return that new array. So let's return less words. And then up in main, I got to catch that. So I'm going to say words equals, what do I call this? Remove word, words. And then we're going to print it out to see if it worked. So let's take this. All right. New version. Let's try this out. Run this thing. OK. Oh, what's my error? Uh, I type mismatch on 20. Oh, have parentheses instead of brackets. How many of you saw that as I was typing it? All right, try this again. All 
All right, so I got apple, banana, grapes. Let's test this for apple. Oh, sweet, it's gone. Okay, now I want to check it for each location because the, the we just want to make sure it works at the beginning, at the end, and in the middle. So let's just check it for all three. Sweet, that works. 